Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to show you I, uh, a um, an interesting feature in which comes with Porcupine Spy in the version of 004. So um, Porcupine is the um, injects the thread pool here, and what we see is is a resource uh, with the name of Parks. This is from the earlier example, and we have a get um, get invocation here, and uh, we have also here a statistics resource. So let's see whether it still works. So I will just invoke the sparks. So as you can see, after 500 milliseconds, I got the response here. So this was this one. And I would like uh, to fetch the statistics. And you get the statistics here. However, the statistics, uh, for the uh, to fetching the statistics, you will have to implement your own resource, what I, what I actually did. Um, so you will have to inject the uh, list of statistics and expose this which um, is not very convenient. So what the uh, what the Porcupine edition does, so we are, will have to use the 04 version and the Spy edition. So I would just redeploy the app and rerun the example and you will see something interesting, hopefully. So um, let, let's repeat the tasks. So um, this is the uh, parks, but what I can do right now, I will show you the headers as well. As you can see, what Porcupine is able to do, it injects for each thread pool, this is the name of the thread pool, into HTTP header, all the statistics to all resources. So uh, what you can do for debugging, for instance, during stress tests, just add the spy uh, ending and the, what you will get is uh, um, the HTTP headers will be automatically enhanced uh, with uh, the key is the name of the of the thread pool and the value are the statistic as JSON. It um, comes a little bit to um, uh, um, the cost of performance because um, yeah because uh, some serialization work has to be done. Um, so and uh, this is implemented with a single class. And the uh, single uh, class is a writer interceptor in Java. So if you go here to um, Porcupine Spy, you will see the single class, which is called HTTP header static in injector. And uh, this class injects the HTTP headers, um, uh, the statistics into HTTP headers. So um, enjoy the pics and porcupines and uh, see you on upcoming workshops, ear hacks or in projects. Thank you and bye.